Hello. I'm back. Hi. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> that is so tragic. Um hi, hello, hi raiders. Welcome in. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Hello, hi, my name's Saren. I also go by Terry. Welcome to my housewarming stream. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I think it's showing good on my end. Are we okay? Okay. We're here at my night market. As you can see, there's no golds. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny that that just happened. Blech. Okay, 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 it's fine. Disgusting. But hi JK, hi Papa, thank you, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Welcome to my new streaming space and my new apartment. Um, I don't know why my OBS crashed, but it did. Hi, Arma. You're good. You missed my OBS crashing, <laughs> so you didn't miss anything. Oh my god, this is a terrible night market. For those of you who don't know what night market is, it is a thing that happens once every um, act where you get discounted skins. Um, but for those of you who don't know how much money I've spent on uh, in-game cosmetics, I pretty much have every skin I want, and the skins that I do want oh, don't come in the night market, so I never get a good night market. Um, but let me screenshot this so that I can post it. But how are custies? How are you guys? Are you guys ready for your tournament on Saturday? Because I'm excited to watch. <laughs> Even though you don't play anymore, fair. Night market is back. I hope you got a better one than mine. So Pretty Nervous is going to be fun. I think you guys will be great. It'll be really fun. I know y'all will throw some fun twists and turns in there for everyone. Everyone's going to have a great time as long as we curate that we're going to have a great time. We got some very big names. Congratulations, you two, for doing all that work and getting those names in. So I'm excited. I have not opened Apex uh, in about a month just because I've been dealing with moving stuff. But maybe I'll get back into it soon. Maybe I'll collect my free purple badge this season. You know. And I don't know what time it is for you, JK, but shouldn't you be going to bed? You don't remember when the last time you played was? Papa, you know, that's a mood. Alright, so for those of you who don't understand how much money I've spent on this game. Um, help me choose my Vandal skin. <laughs> oh my god, you have a 12 hour shift? Then go fuck to sleep. Also, some of these do have different colors on them, so. But I think all of my Vandals are fully upgraded. The ones that can be upgraded. I'm leaning towards the RGX or the Prime for this one.
This is Joey's favorite. I think we'll go RGX this time. Keep that buddy on it. I didn't use that phantom, so it's fine. Do this. I death match, and then I'll probably play some swift plays. Maybe some spike rushes. Just because I don't want to be on Valorant all night, and I don't like streaming Valorant anymore. I just play it a lot off stream. I just don't have as much fun. My Twitter is still getting notifications. I might have to mute that fucking thread here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Where are the gays? How am I the only one with a fucking pride banner in this deathmatch? How am I the only homosexual in this lobby? Got a good knife though, at least. I stood still. I was not looking at my screen. Why are you sitting there? Um, sting. I was barely around the wall when I got head tapped. Why are you walking? Some deathmatch lobbies are just fucking weird. Like, if they're too weird, I will just leave them. I'm not using sound, that was just lucky. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to, like, kill them right when they spawned. Into the fight then, bitch! Like... Don't just shoot me and run away. This is an apex. Of course, I get shot in the ass. Ha 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 ha. I am the superior bad movement. Of course. Can't find anyone for three hours and then you get shot in the back. Oh, those shots were so bad. <coughs> what are you pre firing like that for? Hello? Bro. <laughs> that was stupid. Running gun nerf, by the way. Why are you just sitting there? Why are you so nervous to fight? It 
is desk match, not sit around a corner match. My micro adjustments are getting better, but I'm still getting shit on. I just had to, I think, change my positioning of my hand. Why are you just holding that? That's weird. Running in some crosshair. That was just bad on my part. That was funny. Hello? Interesting. Like, timing, hello? Their movement was weird there. All right. Can I spawn? Apparently not. If you're playing deathmatch to win, you're interesting. You know? You were still in the taking out your gun animation, but that's fine. I, okay. I got shit on. I did, in fact, get shit on that time. Sometimes I look at who was in my post lobby to see if they're, like, assigned players or not. see I'm bad shut up please you think they're live trebuchet yeah trebuchet was in I have ones before no because they weren't there this one this deathmatch, I was angry. I played this game angry. Oh no. The Reaper. <coughs> Excuse me. Salt. Turn my audio back up. I pause my Spotify. And then we do a swift play. Netmarker is better? Probably. I mean, it's probably because um, you own less skins than I do, so I wouldn't doubt it. Why fracture? Everyone 
It's the locking us so Should I say something first? Should I initiate the team or should I just let it be? Also, if my nipples are protruding, I apologize. It is a little bit chilly in here now. Did not mean to do that. I find the thing that is like the tilt. No, this one. I don't really want this chair to tilt that much. I will later, but not right now. I'm just happy with all the mouse pad space I have. Why am I the only gay person in these lobbies? Not this. I think it's funny how I also have the ally banner on, though. Ah, Xeno Hunter Knife. New internet service to meet ya. Yeah. Are you on AT&T fiber or a different fiber or no fiber at all? Well, you have to be on fiber with what you sent me. ATT, okay. So, like, same internet plan, just different. Okay. I got one tapped. this knife so much. Yeah. 
Why buy up here, you know? I mean, I guess because I can buy an extra round anyway, but <coughs> there's no point. No way he waited there the whole time. That shot on the Neon though, I think that was pretty hot, personally. That's so funny. Well, this fate hit this. Up tower. One bullet. Please. Not this. <coughs> he got off. He loses. Interesting. Interesting. Holy shit, JK. That is a good night market. What the fuck? I just saw the post. I'm like...
fuck is an audible? I mean, I own, I own, I own the Karambit, I own the Ritual Blade, I own the Spectre, I own both Spectres. So like, I own everything except the Judge and the Frenzy in your Night Market, so... That would be why I don't need anything from it. Yeah. Yeah. I hate fracture. Four out of three combat scores. Not bad for a swift play. Okay. I don't know playing with. How close to Iridian are you? You know? Alright, bye JK. Enjoy your sleep. Thank you for the raid again. I appreciate you. Hmm. I'm actually going to switch to Overwatch, because I want to do a different form of PPU. I'm going to do that. I actually don't know if I have Overwatch. As Also, I've been in just chatting this entire time. That's embarrassing. Yes, Ace, you heard it. I'm playing Overwatch. I don't know if I have it ready for capture. The reason I don't really play Overwatch is because it still has my old, like, uh, gamer tag and stuff, and I don't want to keep that up. But let me see if I have Overwatch ready. I do not. Let me make sure I open the game first, though. Game capture over. I almost wrote overture. Okay, now I need the audio. Can y'all hear that now? It does not look like it. It says it's capturing it, or it should be capturing it. But I don't see it showing up, so... Games captured all correctly. Okay, 
that is not working then. So let me go back to dish. Properties. We'll get rid of that. And then. Not all my audio is porked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. What audio? All games audio. Just not loud enough? Is that my issue? Oh my god, it's not loud enough. That was my issue. I have it low in my ears, but I wonder what happens like when I actually start. Let's drop that down to 60. Flex off, surface quality. Go medium. How laggy is it for y'all? Because it looks pretty laggy on my end. Um, I change it to medium. I'll change it to low if I have to. Like in the menu, it's fine. But if that's just the practice range having trouble. Yeah, that looks a lot smoother on my end now. So much for the Hanzo nerf, am I right? I can play music while playing Overwatch. Now arriving at new zone, <laughs> prepare for battle. Select your hero. I am in on a main. <coughs> I'm also still getting Twitter notifications. <laughs> Soap is clean, by the way. I will not leave a broken world behind. Yay, Bye. You want the Blintman's record? Even after all you went through? If I am cold, then I do not answer. What is left, Lana? You are left, Reinhardt. And that is nothing to scoff at. Does no one want to play support anymore? Come on, spectators. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. I just got LOS so bad. Why'd you stop running this way? Early pop. Why are you just holding your barrier up? EG, uh, hi. Thank you for the follow, bestie. I don't know why either I didn't hear my alert because it's programmed in the wrong thing or if it's just not working right now, and that's okay. Reinhardt? No way. Because I didn't hear the Taco Bell ding, but maybe there was just in the heat of battle, you know? But how are you, Icon Legend Star? Oh my god, girly. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Uh... A Reinhardt. That Reinhardt was painful. This is why I don't play Overwatch. Overwatch sucks. Overwatch, bad game. They're on a having 5k healing is crazy to me. Let's do better this time. Like our DPS are doing fine, but our fucking tank was terrible. Sting.
What are my sleep darts aimed at? You don't need to be this far up, bro. Um. That one was clean. My ultimate is charged. An enemy here. I'm here. Keep fighting. <laughs> the healers just healing each other at the end, so the Genji can't kill us. Now I swap, because Ana is very much not viable on this map. I will find the healer. I have the strongest woman in the world. You must see merit in pushing through. I also don't feel like aiming right now, so. Why? Why? I'm the wine. 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 Sorry. Also, if I need to turn Overwatch up, let me know. I think it's okay, because it's not like super peaking, but it also might be very low. Sir. Interesting. <coughs> How do we have a bastion? I was... I was spamming shift. So bad. Like, why are we funneling?
Pup. Wolf Bark Slate, indeed. I think my alert box is randomly turned off. But thank you for the raid, I appreciate you. All good. Do what you need to do. Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate the raid as well. I hope your TFT games went okay. I'm not hearing the audio. That's what it is. It's. I think it's happening for y'all. Like y'all can hear it, but I'm not hearing it. Sleep. There it is. My monitoring device was wrong. Someone needs to fill this saddle. So now if it plays Okay, y'all can hear it. I still can't. Oh well. It's still playing. I'm seeing it playing in OBS. And that's all that matters to me. We don't have a tank. Aim right now. <coughs> That's funny. Oh my god, duh. Why did Widow have to get nerfed? Might be on tilt. Might be, I don't know. Nanobits administered. Looks for Mercy is five hundred healing. Let the dragon come to
Interesting. <coughs> Is this bullying? I'm doing this just for the Every just for the Farah. Just fuck that bitch. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Oh my god, my frames. If I close this, I close this. Maybe that reduces the load a little bit more. I don't know why, like, this is that much of a problem. Like, if I can stream Apex, I should be able to stream Overwatch, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Usan? Anna Weaver. This fucking tweet popped off apparently. I will not leave a broken world behind. Stay near, will you? I hate when people run off without me. They are crossing the fence. Okay. That tweet is going off. Oh my god, Rainy Busan. I love that actually. See you, bestie.
are we done with this now or Like, what are we doing? You'll have to try harder than that. Bro, you have a 131 damage. this bitch up I I don't understand Can I get on the fucking point, please? Ooh. Reloading. position now Is that allowed We burn three alts for that. Three alts. <coughs> like, why are you fighting them on your own? Be honest. Interesting. 
Interesting. Don't mind killing monsters, but go on. Keep pushing me. Ooh, uh, spicy! It's funny that that drum doesn't like make another sound. Meow. 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 I have a DPS Moira, and that's fine. Enemy located. She spreads my cheeks and he oh makes my me god. He's my number one daddy, gonna make him cream inside. Hello. Just keep riding. In Raiders, how are y'all? Freeload. Freeload. Oh my god, it's a SAS parade raid! Uh, hi everyone, how are y'all? My name is Saren, or Terry. I am a predominantly FPS streamer. Happy housewarming, yes! Hi! It's a little weird because like my chat's over here, but my camera's over here, and I don't have like the good like back and forth. But hello, hi Soul, hi SAS, how is Fortnite? I have uninstalled the game, actually, so... <laughs> I'm good. I'm just vibing. West. You're all over the place, but you two. Okay, two victory royales. We love that. <laughs> yeah, take a look at this room. Not leaving you behind. It happens. The somber is not giving. I'm sorry, Sombra, but you're not it. You are not the it girl. No, I missed my sleep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, unlike my last place, um, here I'll swap. You. I'll swap this for you. My bed is in my office. This comforter is from Amazon. It is cute. It doesn't quite come over the queen bed, even though I bought the queen bed one, but that's okay. Yes, I have all my Pokemon plushes in the corner over there. Um, I need to hang up more shelves in that little corner. I have more shelves that I'm going to be hanging up. Um, I'm going to put more art like above my bed right here. Thank you. The problem is the art that I want to put up may not be Twitch appropriate, so I have to figure that out. Also, I have to use my headset mic um, because my mic arm broke in the move. So I apologize for how I sound right now. Yeah. So I have to wait till I get paid to get that one. 
I'm glad I sound okay. I have another mic arm, but it won't hold my mic, and it's not designed for my mic, and my mic that I had has to have a very special mount, and that mount is $100, and I don't have $100 to spend on it right now. Um, but yeah, so the thing is now I have to make my bed every time I stream, um, so that's fun. But I am right up against it. Like my chair, the back of my chair is up against my bed right now. Is the only problem. But also, yes, this shirt is really cute. I love her. She's my little Daphne top, is what I call her. It's a crop top, so it cuts off right here. I love her, and I'm wearing my fun pants. Color block pants. I know. Danny's been here. It's been great. I love Danny's references. Ow. That hurt. I've got hair cut in my industrial. Yeah, my hair is long now. Like... <laughs> but the curls are still curling. So... What more can you ask for? I feel like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. It's dark outside-ish. Like if I let light in, nothing happens. I am in my new era. I am very happy to have moved because I'm like taking some time for myself. Um, I'm taking some time to like do some soul searching and just like figure out soul searching to figure out like who I am and like how I function as an individual. So I am doing that. I'm living alone for the first time since I moved out. So that is interesting, something to get used to. But I will be doing cooking streams. That is something on the docket. I have menus planned. Um, you're in Florida, search over it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so my kitchen is really nice. Um, I, let's see if I have a picture of my kitchen. Because, like, it doesn't look great right now because my work setup is there, but I get to move that next week. Um, I have a picture, but everything but my kitchen. I mean, I have a video of my apartment before I moved in. But let me save. Okay, let me post this in a Discord, and then I will um, share my screen so that y'all can see what it looked like. Not that video. That video. Close out of Overwatch. Let me. And then let me move this. Let me go here. Okay, you guys ready? Here's a very short video of my apartment.
There you go. That's what my apartment looks like. Yeah, it is a lot nicer than my last apartment. It is also closer to a lot of like the stuff that I do on a regular. So it's closer to where I play volleyball, closer to work. It's closer to all that. So I'm very happy. I have a covered parking garage. There's a pool I can use. I have a balcony. Um, valet trash, which I forgot to put out. That's okay. But yeah. But I will be doing cooking streams here in a little bit. Probably not um, this month. Probably closer to July. Just because I need to wait for money to come in to buy groceries for things I want to cook. But I have menus and stuff sorted out. Um, any did for your first meal on stream? Yes, actually. I'm going to teach. I'm going to do cooking streams very educational. I'm going to do cooking streams very, like, here are easy meals or here are things that, like, people are interested in or, like, things that you express interest in that are easy for people to make. Show you how to make them. Then we hang out afterwards is usually how my cooking streams are going to go. I'm also going to craft, like, cocktails and stuff for it. So I'm going to do, like, a main dish and, like, one or two sides, depending on whatever, is usually how I'm going to go about it so that you have, like, a little bit of time. Um, but my first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to teach y'all how to make my favorite stir-fry sauce. Um, and the stir-fry sauce can go on any, like, stir-fry. So, like, pick your own stir-fry recipe, like, whatever you want to put in it. Um, but that sauce can go on any sort of meat, any sort of pro like any sort of protein, any sort of fish, and they can also go on your vegetables. And it's a really easy, um, really easy sauce to like make ahead and just keep in your fridge for like a couple weeks. Um, I don't have a rice cooker yet. That is one of the things I want to get, but I want to get a rice cooker. Teach y'all how to make rice in a rice cooker, or if you don't have a rice cooker, how to make rice in a pot. Sadly. Um, I'm going to teach y'all how to prepare tofu because I know some people either don't like tofu because of the texture or have not, never like properly been told how to take care of tofu so it tastes good. Um, so I'm going to teach y'all how to prep your tofu correctly um, so that you can get it crispy so it has a good texture and then it'll absorb all the flavor of that sauce and it's really delicious. Um, and then I might add on to that like rice and like rice fried tofu and vegetables um and i'm probably going to do more of the technical aspect so i'm going to teach y'all how to like properly cut onions and bell peppers and stuff like that um and then down the road i'm going to do a like korean night where i cook a bunch of korean food um so i'll probably do a duck bokki i'll probably do a kimchi fried rice and a japchae and then i will also teach how to make like a bunch of banchan um for side dishes so that is also something that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to pair cocktails and different stuff with those as well, because I was a bartender. I know how to make cocktails and drinks. Um, and then one night I want to do pasta. Like I want to make fresh pasta from scratch and then teach y'all how to do that. Um, and then I do want to do one that's like pretty basic, like burgers or whatever, just to make it, keep it simple, keep it easy. My intention with this is that I can turn this content into content on other platforms so that I can start doing like cooking things on other platforms, maybe branch off into like a YouTube channel, maybe do something with more TikToks like that. That is my hope. I'm not going to put myself to that so I don't overwhelm myself because I am just getting back into streaming. Um, now that I have my internet set up and my PC set up and just a couple more decorations to put up, um, but that is my plan for that. But I'm excited. I really love my space. Um, I'm getting used to it. And once I am like fully settled and fully in, I'm ready to go. I have my work schedule. They planned it out. Um, I got a new job. Uh, I'm still an admissions counselor, but a different school. Um, and I'm getting paid more. So 
uh, I was moving on your stream stuff. So I still had a lot of the original boxes for like my monitors and stuff. So that wasn't that hard. So I got had all the protective stuff and all that. So that wasn't that bad. It was just like the tediousness of taking apart everything and then putting it back together in a new space was hard. Um, there's a reason you don't see my cable management because it's really bad right now. <laughs> um, but that'll get sorted as well. But yeah, exciting things. Also, the Twice concert is in a week. I see Twice in a week. I will be shaking my ass to Twice in a week. Um, I have my outfit. You seeing the next month? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I post a picture of my outfit in an OKU? I have my outfit. I have all of the clothing pieces. I need to do a makeup test because I'm going to be doing makeup. OK, I have. Yes, I have a picture. I will post it in the OKU right now um, in selfies. My albums are not organized correctly. I don't know why it's organizing by like recent photos. Because I fully posted a picture of my outfit. Okay, let me go find it because I posted it in another Discord. And then I might have to. There it is. Okay. It's going, it's going, it's going. I promise, I promise, I promise. There we go. Okay. It's in it's in the OKU okay, you now. It's in the it's in the selfies channel. <coughs> right? It's good. It's a good it's good. Like I'm very I'm very proud of this outfit. What you don't see on those pants is there's a second set of pockets underneath the ones that show, and the second set of pockets has a heart shape on it. I can go get them. I'll be right back. It's these pants, these pants right here. And then this pocket right here is a heart. They're from Zara. I found them online and I said, I'm obsessed. Like, I know it's kind of basic because everyone's going to do those outfits from Hello from, like, the previous world tour because they're easy to do, right? But it's a sleigh. Really good outfit. I love it. So focus on me. The homophobia that I'm experiencing.
There we go. I fixed it. I'm a problem solver. Streaming is hard. I forgot how streaming <laughs> how hard streaming is. <laughs> it's been so long. This is technically my first stream on Overture 2. I didn't advertise it as such though. But yes, I joined Overture. Um Friday I am doing a one shot um for Overture for Pride. Saturday we have our charity tournament. I'm not playing in it, but I will be in chat. Um I moved. Um what else? What else is new with my life? Other than I got a job, I moved. Um I don't know. I'm poor. That's one. But we all knew that. Also, all my timers going off at once is really funny. Do I want to open Apex? Because my plan was to play Apex from 9 to 10, but I don't know if I want to. Let me just chat for a little bit. You know what? I just want to sit here. I want to chat. That's what I want to do. Sorry, I just got like some Discord messages. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm here. Any any questions for me? Any questions? Do I have any questions for chat? Um, what did y'all have for dinner? I had some vodka pasta. It was really good. Um, that I made. That was fun. Rigatoni a la vodka. Got some lasagna. Ooh, lasagna. Okay, my mentions are crazy right now. I need to in free food, tea. You meant to order Chipotle for yourself, but you forgot to specify a quantity bowl. Okay. Aw, Chipotle sounds so good. I had Chipotle earlier this week. Um, girl, calm down. My mentions are blowing up from this tweet. I don't know if you've seen this tweet, um, but basically um, it was the Demi Lovato one being tired of using they, them pronouns, blah, 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 and how the title was misleading. Um, it's at 30k views. There have been trolls replying to it. I've muted those ones. Um, some people are like actively replying to it um, and like... In actually engaging um 
Hello, welcome in. How are you? Um, yeah. So I'm like, I did not expect it to blow up the way it did. Um, but people are mad that I said, um, I'm not a Demi Lovato supporter. Um, prior to like calling out the title. Um, but I meant what I said. Like, set the record straight. Like, I'm not a Demi Lovato supporter. I don't want it to be twisted that I'm supporting Demi Lovato in this matter. I want the matter to be about... Right. I want my, the point of my thing to be about the use of pronouns. And if you read the rest of the thread, which some people did not, I literally address it. Someone was like, um, someone was like, where was it? Let me, let me see all the hidden ones. First of all, Demi Lovato Stan account was the one that was like, the, I'm not a Demi Lovato supporter is tired and can easily be skipped. Bestie. This is coming from a Demi Lovato stan account. You think I'm going to take you seriously when you're defending your alt? Come on now. I'm a K-pop girly. I know how this works. Like, I don't take you seriously if you're defending your alt because you're biased. Read what I wrote. I know you're illiterate. It's fine. And then, like... Also, I don't know half these people replying. Oh, there is a hater on here that I didn't see. It says, exhausting for everyone, but they, them, she, her, soap, bush, fuzzy, wuzzy, was a bear, non-binary is a fucking phase, it's not a thing. Um, is that tweet. Also, they are really bad at typing. I mean, if people are mad, I know I did something right, correct? Correct. So. But I, like, have, like, <laughs> I was not expecting the traction that this got. Now, did I, I get any followers from it? No. Do I care? No. But it's just like, it's still going. Someone literally just liked and retweeted it right now. <coughs> I'm... Is this, is this my moment? Should I take it? Not actually. But yeah, I've been like staring at my phone because I'm like more notifications from Twitter keep showing up and I'm like, I'm about to mute this shit because I don't want to see it anymore. I'm like, I said what I said. Y'all can be mad. I've gone through like hiding replies and blocking people like whatever. If I don't respond, it's because I don't respect your opinion, a.k.a. the Demi Lovato stan who was like, you didn't need to include this part like. <sighs> I liter my tweet literally says, I am not a Demi Lovato supporter for personal reasons. You're mad that I'm saying I'm not a Demi supporter. You're not like accepting the fact that I have personal reasons to it, and you don't care about that, which is diminishing my personal feelings as to why I am not a supporter. Which, guess what? Not everyone has to be a supporter. Sorry. Whatever. That's my exciting drama. I don't have any drama in my life like, right now. And honestly, that's fun. Like, I've distanced myself from people who create drama unnecessarily. And so now my life is boring. People do make it their job to miss the point online. 
that's why I really don't be interjecting in shit. I don't, I don't really say something unless I know I have like things to back it up. Your life is healthy. It sounds like, in that sense, I guess. Also, I have a Visco Girl sticker on my Hydro Flask. Do you know that I've never lived in a place where I there's like a water dispenser and an ice dispenser on the fridge? Um, and I didn't realize how life-changing that was. I have been consistently hydrated ever since I moved in. I've been drinking the proper amount of water each day. My skin has cleared up. My ass has gotten fatter. Like, I don't... I don't understand what it is about not having a white fridge. <laughs> um, I have stainless steel appliances. I have an induction cooktop. Like, I would love a gas stove, but I understand why I don't have one. I have a convection oven. I'm going to be a menace in the kitchen. I have a nice dishwasher. His name is... Kidding. I get so excited when people move into their own spaces, especially people who have, like, curated aesthetics for themselves. So, like, Soul, if you, like, when you move into your own place, I'm very excited to see what your entire space looks like because I know your aesthetic will be phenomenal. I have a lot of fake plants in the other room. Some of them are going to go, we'll see it on Sims for... <laughs> I still have to hang up shelves so I can put more decorations up. Um, because they're kind of just collecting over here off to the side right now, and I need a place to put them. But I do the same thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this game before. But I literally bought it because one, it was three dollars, and two, I really wanted to do it. Um, let me see. It's called My Dream Setup. But it's literally just like a Sims builder, but for. Literally, like, just designing, like, a PC setup. I This was the original plan for where I currently exist. Um, it's, like, $4. Um, but it has, like... A decent amount of like furniture and stuff that's like pretty modern or like what a lot of people have in their setups um and so i was like you know let me mess around with this so i can see it's not fully accurate in terms of like spacing and sizing so like it, you can't get accurate measurements on like what your um bed and stuff would look like it's not a like planner it's not an interior design planner um, but it is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, fucking more Twitter notifications. Like, <laughs> um, but it really helped me like visualize like, oh, what can I do to decorate my setup? So obviously I have my ring light right here. Um, what I want to do is I want to get another light, but have it just be in this corner, and then I want to do it, like, against the wall so my lighting is bouncing off the wall and not directly into my face. Um, and then I still have some art to hang up above my 
PC setup, and I want to get some shelves that I can just hang up as well. Um, I have this like corkboard thing of stuff that's off camera over here that I need to hang up above my monitor, but it like here I'll show you it because it's really cute and I'm really proud of it. But let me cover something because it has my government name on it. But yeah, so like this thing right here, it has all my like badges and pins and stuff on it. Um, and I just like put everything that I didn't want to just like set down on shelves and stuff. Um, and a bunch of little stuff like that. And it's going to go above my PC setup. And then any like any other pins I get or any memento things, I'm gonna keep tacking on to it. Um, so it's just gonna be a collection, like a collage of memories and stuff, because I'm a sentimental person. And I keep a bunch of like stuff. So if anyone is ever to write me like a um like card, I keep it. Um, for better or for worse. So if you ever like wrote me a card, I'd keep it. Like the virtual cards, the um, kudo boards, like I have that bookmarked. I have it saved. I have a jar of um, notes that uh, my old theater group, a bunch of those members wrote me. Because um, for an end of the year thing, for the seniors, like the people graduating, we did this thing where we all wrote a bunch of notes and then a bunch of kudos to everyone um, and put them in mason jars that were labeled for people. And you could also buy kudos like at our shows because they were all for charity. And so all the kudos that people wrote me at shows, all the kudos people wrote me um, like during my time like in the group and when I was a director for one of the programs, um, I have all of those saved. Um, I'm a very sentimental person, so I keep a whole lot of stuff. So, like, if someone got me a pol, like, I have Polaroids. Um, I have Polaroids from high school still that I have. They're not with me on my person, um, but they're in a collage box um, at my childhood home. So I keep a lot of sentimental stuff, um, almost to a fault, because sometimes it's hard to move everything. Um, I have all my old, like, photo projects, too, so that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm looking at how the plushes look right now, and I enjoy it, but I know that I want more decorations over there. Because I also have giant plushes on my bed. I'm not going to back out of frame far enough to you to see for you to see it. That is the one thing that like making my bed before I stream every time is going to keep me accountable for it, but also I'm lazy. And because I've been working from home, I don't have a reason to make my bed. <laughs> Cuz I will come in and nap on my breaks. <laughs> but I think that's the work from home life, but I'm going to be in office starting next week anyway. So But we do have Juneteenth off. It is a long weekend. You're so heartless with keeping stuff. You can't send moving everything one day. I feel that. I definitely have a cluttered drawer over here that has all the cards and stuff. Um, I definitely need to, like, go through them and clean out the ones that, like, don't really mean anything to me. Um, but it's hard for me to do that. It's not hoarder level because it's not hindering my ability to do things. Um, and I can just shove it in a drawer, but, like, I know I have cards at home from, from elementary, middle school, but it's also something that, like, my family did a lot, so, you know, like, that was close, I feel that I had to, like get rid of some clothes and I donated quite a few of them 
And I still had five. I had five boxes of just clothes along with like my suitcase, my duffel bag. And I didn't pack my jackets or shoes either in any of those that stuff. So I had five boxes of clothes. I had my duffel bag and um my duffel bag and my suitcase of just clothes. Then I had my jackets and my formal wear and my shoes. So like, and those were all in different things. So I had 10 moving containers of just clothes. But my kitchen, like my living room, my office stuff was like three, four boxes. Like, the only thing that rivaled the amount of stuff that I had clothes-wise was my, like, stream decorations. But those were in smaller boxes. Maybe I have too many clothes. But I do have a walk-in closet, and it all fits in there, so... And there's a shoe rack in there that has all my shoes. I don't really have a place to put my jackets other than in my closet. Because my little door um, right by my like front door is um, has my washer and dryer in it, so. I also need to open Soul Calibur because I will be playing that on stream a little bit here in a little bit. Um, do I have my egg? Sorry for butting the mic. These were the screws I was looking for to hang up my shelves. I was looking for these screws yesterday and earlier today because they're the ones I need to hang up my shelves. All right. Well, I don't know why they're in this drawer because this drawer is all of my like additional gaming stuff. Oh my god, get ready for bed. Uh, thank you for the raid again, Sass. I appreciate you. I will have a good rest of stream. Like, things that are in here are, like, my extra set of headphones. I have, like, all of my keyboard stuff in here. I have my external hard drives. I have a fucking light bulb. I don't know why this is in here. I have my camera battery. I have things I can't show on stream because they're TOS. Like, that's all my extra camera stuff. That's my keyboard stuff. My mic stuff. That's my junk drawer. So I have the two Alex drawers and a kitchen countertop as my desk. Um, the reason I have a kitchen countertop is because I eat at my desk a lot. And it's also very sturdy and can hold my monitor mount without a problem, and it won't bend in. It is a solid piece of wood, and I am very happy about it. Also, I'm still getting fucking Twitter notifications. I'm about to mute the, the fucking post so that I don't get notifications about it because I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing Twitter notifications on my phone.
I am also not re-entering my headset era. I'm just doing it because of the need for set up a mic. Um, normally, I just have my in-ears. But let me make sure I have... Okay, let me change the game. Soul Calibur 6. Also, the Twitch thing now shows you like how many viewers and followers and shit are in the category currently, and I don't know if I like that, actually. And then let me make sure I add the game audio as well. We're going to watch the cutscene, because why not? But this game is fun because I can just like sit back, like recline in my chair a little bit. Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, I'm totally reading this. Uh-huh. I read it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Does anyone actually read through those things? Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge. A legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history. It was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. <gasps> Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Oh, no. Cervantes was eventually undone. <gasps> Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the Sophitia. swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near-mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophia. Period. Away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Oh. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. Interesting. of rampant evil the evil seed evil seed no one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world our story 
takes place in the 16th century. I don't think I have... I don't think I have any of the DLC because I think I just bought the base game. We get to do my favorite part, of light character customization. Pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Aww. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Full <laughs> disclosure, I would let Astaroth for Armageddon him. <laughs> Aphasia, please! Uh... I mean, you're not wrong. Should I make a bunny boy? Or should I make someone with wings? I say this to you because I know you would understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, there's more than two genders, Soul Calibur, but I'll go male presenting, I guess. How Twinkie should I make him? I'm not that tall, so... I make him super Twinkie? Literally, no muscle definition. We'll give him some muscle definition. The most neutral face. We can change the hair color later, but... Bad boy grunge. What is this? Final Fantasy 14? I usually go with this, but that's basic. So. I need more curly hair. I guess this is more me right now. This is Matt Mercer. I made Matt Mercer. That's kind of a slay, but it's not for me. You know what? We'll be gay. We'll do highlights. Them good brows. Good fight. This fight will be I forgot you could I can see the fear. Let's go. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. It has to be that one. Weaklings. Well. I am beautiful. We're keeping the tail. Should 
Should I do... Oh, we should go like very bisexual. I make the eyes pink. I think this should be blue, right? Oh, this is Witcher stuff. Uh, how femme do we want to make him? Because I could also just give him Ivy weapon. Do we just give him Ivy's weapon? I'm between Ivy and Zhanghua. We'll go Zhanghua because I feel like it makes sense. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. <gasps> now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. I put Valdo on screen just so Dill comes and says hi. if you're here i will play some games as valdo if you really want me to oh wow when i woke up my head was pounding Maybe it was the nightmare I'd had, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. Finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet but strong-willed. My name is Asalamel, and I know what's happened to you. You were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a malfested, but I'm afraid you may not escape death. Ask about the evil seed, uh... It is a great evil that burst forth from Western Europe as a torrent of light had rained down around the world. Ask about the Malfested. They are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Many Malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Luckily for you, fate put you on a different path. I have so many fucking Twitter notifications. 
Ask about your nightmare and the headache. Your body does not appear to have been altered by the evil seed. However, it seems to have affected your soul, linking it to what is the astral chaos. Astral chaos is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and a headache are a sign of what is to come. Do not ask anything. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. The, next, the area next to Journey's Dawn is a dojo of the Drona, a martial arts master. Play the battle tutorial. Should we, should we play the tutorial? We're gonna play the tutorial. I learned of a highly respected martial arts structure in Yet named Drona, the very model of a warrior. I made my way across treacherous mountain paths and traversed crumbled ledges before finally reaching my destination, a dojo surrounded by burbling mountain streams. To one side of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastic practicing with weapons that come from far and wide. I've heard many of them come from royal or noble lines, unlike their master's humble roots. Hey, old traveler, what business do you have so deep in the mountains? I told him my name and that I'd come here to learn. Well, Saren, I never refuse anyone with a desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I have earned the ire of the local king. If you stay, you may too find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded, and he continued. Very well, we'll train you. But before we begin, let me see your skills. I think that's his voice. Movement. The way I'm like not guarding. Reversal Edge. Critical edge. I think we chose the right voice. Soul charge.
khác Yay, first victory. Here to a masterpiece. Jonah's expression grew clouded. Let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down on me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. And yet, time came, I still could not defeat him. It turned out I was unable to actually use the technique when the chance came. My folly became evident. Instead of focusing on learning a flashy technique, I should have worked on improving my fundamental skills. So I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals. When I was satisfied, I went to challenge him once again, but I was too late. He had lost his life in a war against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son who claimed vengeance against the one who slew his father only half a year later. Now he is a warrior even more skilled than his father was. Take this letter of introduction. If you ever have the chance, you should pay him a visit. I took Master Jonah's letter, thanked him, and left the dojo behind. It is good to see you again. Master Jonah greeted me with a warm smile when I arrived at his dojo. To what do I owe the pleasure? Come to train? If so, I applaud your dedication. Today, I'd like to teach you about the many different attacks you can employ in battle. I apologize. I'm trying to, like, get back into voicing things for Friday. As you can see how my controller is. Radiant. That rank I'll never reach. That's all I know about attack types. Next, I'd like to teach you about the effects you can inflict on your opponent using your attacks. Offense is not about attacking wildly. In order to claim a victory against a skilled foe, you must know when and where to use what technique. So let us begin your next lesson. Oh my god. First of all, 
Did you read? Wait, you're followed by people that I know. God, you're so funny. said you're gonna take these attacks <coughs> crushing an opponent's guard more skilled, but as you continue to advance, you'll no doubt eventually find yourself against a seemingly insurmountable wall. Let me tell you a story from my past. When I was young, I traveled the world as an iterate warrior. One day, I was in the distant north of the Ming Empire, in a place called Sichuan. I told Rona that Sichuan was in the southwest of the Ming Empire, but he simply looked at me puzzled. Is it? Really? Well, wherever it may be, I was there. Let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. It was during my time when I met Hong Yu. Hong Yu was a strong and beautiful young woman. Lent her limbs wielded a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attack, nimbly moving like a young willow tree in the breeze. I immediately fell in love with her. However, she told me she could never love me unless I could best her in combat. In a contest of strength, I beat her easily, but her defense was impenetrable. My attacks were blocked, parried, or avoided. I couldn't even touch her. That was because I had not learned how to pierce a talented foe's defense. I have learned a thing or two since then, such as the effectiveness of throws against an opponent who rarely lets their guard down, and her special techniques that break through any guard. But back then, she defeated me and said she had no interest in the weak. I left, trained as hard as I could, and eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, she had already wed another. If you ever pass the stitch one, do you want to see your skills for yourself? I'm sure the experience would come in handy. Vowing to take his advice to heart, I left the dojo. Okay. No more. We'll go we'll go do the story. The air was stifling, and each step forward required an immense amount of effort. Sasalamel, however, seemed to proceed unfazed. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. This is an astral fissure, a rip in space and time. It is caused by the great power that flows through the earth and the evil dispersed by the evil seed. To continue living, you will need to obtain the power of the astral fissure. Naturally, it is easier said than done. 
Astral fissures exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone weak who dares approach it or turn them into a Malfested. However, when someone with great power approaches, a flash of light will bring with it a visitor. Ooga! Don't sit there just... Don't just sit there surprised. It looks like you've got a fight on your hands. Quack. 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 You win. I would hope so. The attacker burst into particles of light that soon faded. Those freakish warriors, berserkers, appear when the strong approach an astral fissure, perhaps in response to their power. Berserkers come from memories of warriors who sought strength. Beat them, you simply must be stronger. There is no other way. However, you can obtain phenomenal power from the fissure, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to Astral Chaos's attempts to devour your soul. You can withstand the Astral Chaos, you would no longer have to fear for your life. Now, claim your power from the Astral Fissure. Encouraged by the Salamo, I thrust my arms into the Astral Fissure. A surge of light burst forth, blowing through my arms and into my body. My heart pounded as my body began burning feverishly. As long as the scattered evil and Earth's power remain, Astral Fissures will continue to appear. Here there is another Astral Fissure on the outskirts of a village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. The Salamo reveals a set of scales, on top of which fluttered one blue flame and one red flame. Those are These are spirit scales, otherwise known as Libra of Soul. Take them. Your body is overflowing with energy from the Astral Chaos. It is the power of chaos and of order state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will reveal to you which way your soul is leaning. It should help you maintain control. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life. Along. T. Oh my god, more health! I got all the way up to level 4. Chapter 1, Journey Begin. Okay, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, so I will be right back. That works. One enemy remaining. Good job. You're Yo, gone. Nobody saw me. I hate, I hate Twitch situations. I hate them. I hate them so much. I had to play that so fucking patiently. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so stressed. Oh my god. Uh. I'm, I'm jittery. I'm jittery. It's it's not good. This is why I can't play like these games like this. I I, I get too jittery. It's it's so stressful. I'm thinking about all the bro. You what? Nothing. No, I get it. Yeah. Someone's One enemy remaining. This is why we have teammates though. She's wine. Probably Molly's on bomb. Pink's top. Oh. You're a god. 
Off jet back corner. Pressured. I can't swing again. Come under me. in a row let's go baby just like oh. they're just they're just like, they're just, sides. like where do they know you guys are just different you guys are just, i want to be like i want to be terry and kyle when i grow up let's have a quick listen in to uh what the comms are on the attacking side see if we can get it no you need to crush their dreams <laughs> no <laughs> no i feel bad Hello? One enemy remaining. <coughs> Spike planted. There. Thanks. Let's go. I'm inside. Wait, oh, yeah, I want to spam finish this. Where are they? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Electro. Electro. He cancelled it. Thank you. I have a wall base spot, but I'm not sure if it will work. I feel so good right now. <laughs> okay, I return. I forgot I was leaning back in my chair. I kind of just want to get through these so they're done. I won't read. I won't read them anymore. Sorry. I love that, like, backflip move.
Yay, defense. I love being mean. Aerial control. Reverse impact. too early. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh my god, how many fucking tutorials are there? Oh my god. to an impossible sight. I was floating in a vast space. The ground was nowhere to be seen, and the sky stretched on into infinity. Ruined chunks of masonry floated nearby, a broken pillar from a temple, a half-collapsed house, a fallen tower, structures of every shape and size from every corner of the globe. At the center of it all, an enormous whirlpool of light I watched as a colossal building was drawn into it, bricks ripping from their mortar and accelerating into the brilliant glow. A piece of rubble made contact and disappeared in utter silence. 
The light captivated me with its beauty, but at the same time it filled my heart with dread. Little by little, the terrible light was drawing me in. Struggle as I might, I could not break free from its inex inexorab inexorab inexorable grasp. Slowly, ever so slowly, distance began to shrink. Maybe it was destiny for my soul to become entwined with the astral chaos. But I will not submit to destiny and allow myself to be consumed by the bright harbinger of death. I need strength, the strength to defy my fate. The light drew near when suddenly two swords appeared before me. As I reached out to grasp the floating blades, a voice broke the silence. Those who destroy your strength must make a choice. Value your freedom and wish for power to pursue your own path, choose the golden sword. If you honor the virtues of harmony and reason, I wish for the power to bring order to a chaotic world, choose the azure sword. The gasp of the azure sword felt a wave of peace wash over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised the blade high, then struck a swift blow at the swirling light. Resonates with the light. T. Oh my god, it's Maxi. Is he gonna kick my ass? Is this just the Matrix Red Blue Blue Pill? Yes. Back to your senses. Yes. <coughs> I told Maxi my name. Why do I have to have a straight sword, you know? probably do one more and then we'll probably raid out just because I'm getting tired and I also have to be up tomorrow for work. I've also been live for longer than what it says because I was live before everything in my stream crashed so I think I've been live for like four hours now. fight this dude. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Radiance! Now! Twirl! Twirl! Radiance! 
Oh my god, I took his shirt off. Are you nar? Ooh, food. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a snack. But I think that is going to be it for me for the stream. Actually, let me make sure this saved real quick before I do anything like that. <laughs> Saving right now. Cool. All right. Well. We're probably just gonna raid into someone on the theme because there are a few people streaming right now but thank you guys for stopping by i appreciate you all sorry i am reading other things Actually, there's a few people live right now that we could trade into. Um. Damn, there's actually a lot of people. You know what? We are going to go trade into. We're just going to raid into. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch your by the tone. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Okay. We'll see. Ugh, fine, I'll hydrate before we raid. We're gonna go raid Kosi because Kosi's playing Star Rail, and I'm gonna hop off, grab a snack, and then I'm gonna hop on Star Rail. But thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you all. Hopefully we'll get a different schedule for uh, streaming out soon. Hopefully to get some um, cooking stream started as well. But I appreciate you all. Bye-bye.